Good morning from another episode of The Way We Saw It uh, in San Jose, Costa Rica. This day starts with a visit to the Feria Verde, which is a farmer's market. And it's only open on Saturdays from 7 to 12. So we had to get up early to check this out. And this place is a market where the local people from the surroundings bring their veggies and fruits. And it's pretty, pretty windy, I hope it doesn't disturb. But uh, San Jose is a windy city. currently trying some chocolate here. A chocolate with tequila inside. So on the organic farmer market we just bought hibiscus, a uh, little curcuma inside it. We actually did a bacteria which is fermented. And this is like, uh, kind of like kombucha. Kombucha, yeah. Yeah, you can buy it. So it's very good for your health. And I'm gonna have it all. Body absorbs. It's a turmeric body, which is a fermented uh, turmeric, and body absorbs uh, more curcumin, which is the active ingredient in curcumin, when it's fermented. So it's better than eat uh, fresh turmeric. Okay. Muchas gracias. And like every organic market that attracts hipsters, you need a DJ. Organic pepper, which is like a coconut with a bamboo straw, of course, no plastic. He cut it freshly open. It's 500 colones, which is around 75 euro cent, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Let's try it. Mm, super sweet, coconut tea. Of course, you have to try an espresso here in this tablet cutting booth where you have again, like, I don't know how many different coffee varieties, but of course Costa Rica is a coffee country and it smells fantastic. I wish you could smell this coffee. So, first let's have coffee. market and now we are heading back to the city center drop off some laundry and we're going to catch up with the National Museum again today because yesterday we didn't do it because we didn't have enough time it actually closed at 4 30 in the afternoon and we thought one hour is not enough called the Metropolitan Cathedral is a Renaissance style uh, church that was built in 1871 after the previous church got destroyed by an earthquake and it has an elegant Renaissance style uh, neoclassical style interior with uh, Spanish tile floors and beautiful uh, window paintings and there is a recumbent Christ if I'm not mistaken that is in there that was made in France and brought here and a lot of worshippers from all Costa Rica come there. The, the church is actually in a very unspectacular place in the city center next to the Parque Central but inside it has a really calm and elegant atmosphere. Before heading to the National Museum we got a haircut and we got it from a local and we asked for the local style so we have very short here on the side. This is real Tika style. This is for our whole time in Costa Rica. Yeah, it should, it last should, forever. Be, should it last forever. Anyway, now we are at the National Museum and this National Museum starts with a butterfly garden 
This is housed in a former Bella Vista barracks, uh, this uh, museum, and it used to be a military installment before the military was demolished in 1948, and in 1949 this place was turned into a museum. And this uh, butterfly garden is rather amazing because it has huge butterflies, I've never seen so big butterflies, and very colorful, and they just fly here free amongst the visitors. I've never seen such big butterflies, look at this, it's almost the size of my hand, gigantic. So beautiful. One is already out and the other one is just getting out, just a few hours old. And there's one coming out here as well, trying to get out of the cocoon and open its wings. So after the Civil War in 1948, uh, President Jose Figueres announced actually that he's going to abolish the army which was then taking place one year later, 1949. And since then, Costa Rica doesn't have an army. And this is also the reason why Costa Rica's current situation is uh, very well amongst many other uh, states in Central America, because they invest all the money, which other countries maybe invest into the army, into education, uh, health system, etc. And it's quite interesting, a country without an army. exhibition about the Cocos Island of Costa Rica which is actually a paradise for divers and we are on a waiting list actually for a boat to go there but I don't have any hope that we might make it so we have to come back for another time and do this dive safari and also in that waters maybe you remember this funky fish here right behind me they have the red lip bedfish and when you look at our video from Taganga, you have to click up there. We were diving in Taganga in Colombia in the Caribbean Sea and I spotted there also the red lip bedfish, which is really, really funky. A funky fish. So this exhibition here in the National Museum is really, really beautifully done. we have from the National Museum balcony over the Democracy Square and the Jade Museum on the right with its brutal architecture. And this square is used for many gatherings and together comings. So we are just done with the National Museum and maybe you can hear all the honking cars because tomorrow in Costa Rica there is the election. And this is the entrance to the National Museum and we are just done. It's really, really well done, I must say. I think it's one of the best National Museums I have seen so far. I was just saying to Marty, even the one in Switzerland, I think this one is better. It's very concentrated, it's very interactive, it's, everything is in English as well. So when you come to Costa Rica and you start in San Jose, maybe you start with this museum because it explains you all the history about the country. And there are also a lot of uh, pre-Columbian um, potteries and jade, etc. So if you don't have much time, maybe this museum is a good thing to see a little bit of everything. Plus, there's a beautiful butterfly garden at the entrance, where you can see uh, the butterflies hatching and then flying around. And uh, I really enjoyed the visit to this place. Now we are back in Barrio Escalante in this wonderful coffee place called Cafeoteca and having a coffee after all these 
uh, visits today in San Jose. Really a beautiful city, a lot of things to see. Many travel books say don't stay very long here or jump just ne to the next destination. Uh, I cannot, or we cannot really confirm this. We think it's really worth staying maybe one or two days longer and explore the city, have fantastic food, enjoy all these lovely coffee places and have cakes, etc. So we are actually staying six days here, but we of course travel a very long time and have enough, enough time. And then we are renting a four-wheel drive car and driving three weeks all over the country. All these wonderful national parks, wildlife, uh, beautiful nature. We are really excited. So there's going to be a lot of uh, new exciting episodes of The Way We Saw It coming. We are also trying to be really up to date with our vlogs. So we are really, when you see this, we are left already San Jose, but we want to be on time as close as possible when the vlog comes out. And tonight uh, we are going to meet friends, which we made on our glacier cruise in Patagonia. You can see the vlog up here and they are actually from San Jose and we will have dinner with them tonight together and see them again. That's going to be exciting as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Way We Saw It. Thank you also to all the new subscribers and safe travels wherever you are. See you soon.